Yeah, sorry, Dori. No problem. Since you you need... hear some other voices? Yes, we can hear them as well. So it's good that uh, okay. you your team off. Okay. <laughs> Since you knew okay. that you were going to be the world, uh, the, the Sprint World Cup winner this season, what did that trigger it? How do you feel achieving this milestone again in your career? Yeah, for sure, it's not the same as uh, 2016. Uh, we know uh, COVID situation uh, let uh, the the whole world uh, in a difficult uh, uh, in a difficult period, and we are still there. Uh, but uh, yeah, due to COVID, we had one more thing to to manage, uh, one more thing to to be stressed on. And uh, and so during uh, the world the world season, it was uh, really difficult to to manage uh, everything. Uh, plus, I had an injury during summer, so I lost one month uh, training in the month of August, and it was not the best period to to be injured. So um, I feel uh, I feel good and really proud of uh, me and my team. Uh, we did. Uh, due to those uh, all those uh, strange and difficult things that uh, we had to manage. Yes, it's been a very exhausting season, and um, with new elements for everybody. Can you describe how you in the past five months of racing, maybe compared to what you were used to before? Um, because you already mentioned there were additional tasks we all had to undergo, maybe a bit more uncertainty as well along the way. How did you feel that as a Yes, the the biggest difference was that uh, uh, with this uh, COVID situation, uh, we had to to fix really well the plans even knowing that uh, every day they could change so uh, maybe in the past we had more uh, a plan starting from the from june ending in april uh, but this season was not uh, was not like this and uh, and so yeah uh, every day we didn't know the day after what uh, could happen so this was not certitude uh, on all all the way uh, going on. So even by the uh, race is uh, cancelled and uh, something like this. So uh, it was really 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 hard. Yes, uh, even all those uh, uh, masks uh, and stuff uh, to put on and always giving a look uh, to the teammates uh, or the technicians uh, pay attention social distancing and all those things was one more uh, hard thing and and then yes uh, for sure maybe the most uh, hard part was that uh, in the past uh, when we came back home after the races we we used the the two three four days or the whole week uh, to, to turn off the lights from World Cup and to stay with the, with the family. But uh, this year was not possible. So uh, I, I say goodbye to my family in, in the end of, uh, of uh, the month of September. And uh, by there, uh, I didn't see them uh, more, uh, more anymore. So uh, I think this uh, this was maybe the the hardest part of my job uh, in this winter. It is for sure something that we hope not to have in the future as well. But um, we have to admit we have also learned a lot from this season. Are there any positives from this whole change that you can take along? Yeah, we. I I know that uh, that we 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 can be able to manage uh, one more uh, difficult thing, but uh, I even knew this before, by me for sure, not by every every people because uh, the the situation at the moment is not. were not so so ready to manage this so by my sport life 
I the, the positive thing is that uh, I could adapt my 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 life even to a uh, so difficult uh, difficult uh, period. So I when I could I always try to do my best and to compete uh, at my best. And I think that uh, this was uh, the best way to say to to all the people that uh, could uh, continue their job that uh, if if doing it uh, with the um, right protocols we could jo do our job and and that's what i did with the most uh, professional uh, way that i could in this regard um i'm also taking into this loop that um, in the season 15 16 when you won your first sprint world cup um you bet pet nordic who uh, i know you have always seen as a as a idol as well or trying to sort of copy him a little bit as well um and in the past years it has been johannes hoslo clever who is one of your biggest rivals in sprint as well and now closing the loop back to COVID as well the norwegian team that had to set out for the first half of the season with Johannes missing. What did that mean to you? And what does it mean to you now um, winning the Sprint World Cup? Yeah, for sure, this, this World Cup has a less value, in my opinion, uh, because uh, I knew that uh, this, this cup is for the, for the, most, for the strongest uh, athlete in Sprint. But I know that uh, I'm not it. <laughs> And so uh, somebody had to do races. Uh, somebody had to do to to win something, and uh, I just did it. Um, racing without uh, Clabo for me was just uh, practically was to change my uh, tactics, and uh, so I I raced a little bit different more than a little bit different i was i was less waiting and uh, more uh, attacking uh, along the along the the, the turns and uh, along the, the 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 finals so uh, i think that uh, the the feelings of this season uh, were really really good i needed them for uh, starting to think uh, uh, about the next year olympic games uh, because the sprint will be in skate and I know that there I can I can try to to be to be the best. Of course, yes, that's a. It's actually a very interesting season to have spent one year before the Olympics. So when you mentioned changing tactics, do you think you will keep something of your learnings from this season and and you know bring it into your skiing in the next seasons? Yeah, for sure, for sure. Uh, racing with Norwegian um, um, can't let you race uh, too much in the front of of the of the guys because then in the final part uh, you have always somebody that is really fast for sure club but not, but not only him and uh, to race uh, without them uh, this season was uh, yes uh, was like uh, coming back to some years ago when uh, when I did uh, always what I wanted to do uh, with really few incidents and really few uh, changing uh, mind roads uh, during the during the race so uh, this season my main goal was this uh, not only to keep uh, uh, the podiums uh, or uh, to, to do some victories uh, this season for me was to to come back, I, I knew that I had this opportunity uh, to to search uh, uh, my my past uh, feelings, uh, and I needed this uh, for uh, for sure for working on for uh, next season. Have you already had time to process what might have been your highlight of the season, and maybe also? Sorry, I didn't understand. Have you already had time to think about what has been your highlight of the season and also what has been your lowest point? Okay. Yeah, uh, 
Yes, yes. But uh, I think the the part of the season in which I was so I was really proud was uh, December and even uh, the beginning of January with the World Tour de Chi because I tried uh, this new experience uh, uh, to go until the end of the Tour de Chi and uh, with eight races and I I I learned something uh, even there and uh, but the part uh, less uh, happy and was the was key championship for sure um, i was quite in a good shape but uh, i had uh, some problems to ski on this uh, so fat snow conditions uh, it was not a problem for the mind it was not a problem for the for the for the skis or for the, for the shape but I just know that statistically, with the wet condition, for me, it's harder to to join my goal, uh, my goal. So um, I I'm proud about the the fact that I did uh, the best that I could uh, in sprint and in sprint for sure. And uh, but uh, yeah, I even knew that in this sprint uh, uh, we were not so lucky. Uh, do, doing the the second semi final with uh, these low conditions, uh, so we we had uh, uh, to spend uh, a lot of energies before uh, to to go in the final and and the medal goal uh, we didn't reach it. So uh, then in World Ski Championship to uh, to come back home uh, early before uh, the second week uh, was was really 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 hard uh, and uh, for sure uh, we had to do it uh, but uh, i think this was the the lowest point of the of the season yeah it surely didn't turn out the way you imagine it to be and to expect um so i think you're very also great and obviously um happy that at least in the overall World Cup, I mean, in the sprint part, it worked out so well because um, for for the past ten years, you are a very valuable um, core center of the Sprint World Cup as well. Um, I want to look at how you got here, um, your second Crystal Globe. So, what do you think? Where you progressed? Oh, in the last, in the last season, I, I had, uh, I, I came back to to my to my legs in the final part of the sprint skate, and uh, this was the the athletic goal, and uh, we reached it. I was waiting it for next season, but. Uh, it came early, so I used it for uh, for uh, winning the, the sprint skate race in five uh, sprint skate uh, and in sprint skate. I all, I went always on the podium, so I'm really I'm really proud of this. And uh, yes, I think this is this is the. Can you tell us a bit more what you mean by that finding the legs again? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I in the past spring. I changed a little bit uh, something on my on my trainings. Uh, I came back to my old uh, uh, athletic uh, uh, coach, uh, the one that I had uh, until uh, until uh, the Olympics in Pyeongchang, and uh, we went back to work a lot of, on the gym. And uh, yeah, the injury in this way was uh, was something that. Uh, even helped a little bit because I could stay. The only training that I could do in uh, in in August was trench in uh, in the gym, so we could uh, have a lot of time to spend on uh, staying focused on uh, on the singular uh, muscles uh, that we wanted to 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 have stronger and faster, uh, and so. Uh, for sure, uh, this kind of work on uh, on the gym helped me a, a lot uh, a lot on on this goal. But I knew it because I re I had really good uh, uh, souvenir uh, remember from uh, this 
movements and so i i wanted uh, a lot okay for this season but more even for for next um so this means when you are going um, into your training mode again in spring and summer um this will be included in your in your preparation for this next season as well which is of course a major one again with the olympic games Yes, uh, I will continue on, on this way. And uh, at the moment, uh, here in Engadin, there are uh, really fantastic snow conditions. And uh, if the laws permit uh, to stay here uh, more time, I, maybe I, I will. And, uh, and the goal for next weeks will be to continue to ski a lot, uh, even on spring conditions where i i have to 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 be better for sure and uh, and then yes uh, looking at the international uh, uh, covid situation and maybe go to norway in april for uh, for skiing uh, a little bit more or maybe stop to do cross country skiing and doing maybe some uh, ski mountaineering uh, uh, at home in Aosta valley uh, where we we can go to to find the snow a little bit uh, higher in 3,000, 4,000 uh, meters altitude. Um, I'm going to turn into the second part of the media talk where uh, journalists have sent in the questions. So they're not questions by us, but I'm always going to say who asks you this question. So we're going to start with Roberto Santangelo. He's also an Italian journalist from the online newspaper OA Sports. And he is asking, have you decided to participate in Engadin races to defend the third place in the overall standing in the World Cup as you did for the Jeremy's uh, final climb because of the Kudoshi rank? Yes, it should be a really, a really good goal, but uh, I know that will be hard because the rescheduled uh, weekend is not a rescheduled weekend because in Oslo we had a sprint and a distance race and a 50k and uh, if, if it was in Oslo I I wanted really wanted to do it but uh, now we are in Engadin with uh, a 15k must start and then uh, a 50k um, uh, pursuit so and then would be a lot of uh, bonus uh, I will bonus points I will wait uh, what uh, what uh, fish decide and then i i will i will try but for sure it's really it's really hard to think about the world, world cup podium but i will try to do my best and then uh, let me see on sunday evening that's a very good answer yeah. <laughs> um we have roberto also asking that the world championships must be quickly forgotten but it's time to celebrate the sprint world cup are you already thinking about the two, uh, 22 Winter Games or will you also try to win the Sprint World Cup again next year? But for sure, to starting this 2020-21 uh, season, uh, for me, it was, uh, was automatically, uh, even starting with in December without uh, the nor Northern uh, Nations, automatically in my mind uh, i've set the the olympic games uh, goal so uh, it became my main goal the the sprint skate and uh, that's why i'm so proud uh, of the job that we did in uh, in, uh, in december and um, and uh, yes uh, i don't know if i will celebrate uh, too much uh, this 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 world cup even because uh, at the moment is not uh, allowed to do to do it so uh, yes uh, i i i am still proud uh, for this world cup even because uh, many times uh, borsulov said me uh, that he wanted everything <laughs> the the sprint globe too and uh, but uh, i think when uh, when he fell down in qualification in Falun, he decided to 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 stay more concentrate on uh, on the world key championships but uh, as uh, for nortug in 2016 
after the Tour de Chi, his main his main goal, as he told, uh, was the uh, Sprint World Cup that he never won, uh, and then I won. I'm even a little bit proud this season because uh, Bolshino said me many times that he wanted the Sprint Globe, and then I I could I I reached it. That's for sure gonna stay with you for a while. Yeah. Very good. Um, next question up is uh, at the Olympic sprint in free technique and the team sprint in classic technique. What are your goals and aspirations to achieve in Beijing? Yeah, my my the main goal is the gold. Uh, in my career, I won. Uh, many times in the World Cup. Now I have uh, two uh, sprint globes. I have some uh, uh, World Ski Championships medals. I have a silver in uh, in Olympics in classic style. And for sure, the main goal uh, is the gold. Uh, the gold in, in in freestyle. I know that I I'm not uh, the young guy. Uh, that I was uh, some some years ago, but uh, Olavi Gennartestad won the uh, gold in uh, Sochi when he was uh, 32. Next year uh, is my 32 year of my of my life. So if he could, uh, why I I I cannot uh, I cannot dream and work on uh, on this goal. So this is my main goal, and then. Uh, for sure, if I will be uh, ready for a, a team sprint, and it can be a really good opportunity because uh, last two years ago in Seffeld, uh, we did the, the medal together, me and the Fabiani. So in classic style too, we are we are not bad in a, in, in a team sprint. So can be can be even a, a goal, but. Uh, it will depend uh, by many things, but first of all is the the sprint uh, the sprint race my my main goal. That's where the focus is playing. Um, the last question here is that the Olympics will be at high altitude. Will you do any specific training in high altitude to prepare? And will you change anything compared to the preparation you did now for the last? I live in 1,400 meters altitude. I train mostly during summer in even higher than this uh, this altitude. For sure, uh, uh, to prepare a, a, a race at 1,700 altitude uh, is different. Uh, but uh, historically, in race racing in uh, in altitude for me was always good in davos in valmoster in uh, lenzerite uh, always racing uh, upper than uh, 1600 meters altitude uh, for me I, i've reached a lot of podiums and victories there so uh, i know that uh, this thing is a good thing for me and um, i will i will uh, at the moment we didn't plan uh next season but uh for sure uh, we will have to keep on mind uh, this this thing um giorgio capodaglio i hope i pronounced this right from uh, fondo italia has also some questions um and he asks are you happier about what you have achieved in the world cup or rather about what happened at the world championships and what then happened with COVID? Yes, yes, I'm, I'm, I'm satisfied uh, about uh, what I did along the season, uh, and even uh, how I manage the the new difficult uh, situation uh, on the, on COVID. Uh, was hard, as I told before, uh, because I was uh, always to say. Uh, to stay focused on many things, many more things, and then you know, in Italy, we the 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 way to live is not like in the north. It was a little bit uh, more difficult uh, than uh, compared to the ski cross country skier preparation and and life. Uh, 
where where the there are so many people as uh, you know in Italy the the population and the density is really high more than uh, than in, in some places in the north so uh, we had always to stay really 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 a lot of concentrate with uh, with uh, social distancing that uh, the uh, ambience uh, way where was not uh, helping us 